What's going on everybody? Today we are building, oh what way did Augie go? Uh, we are building a fish trap today uh, and we're going to compete it to the one that I already have. We are at the Home Depot and uh, I got Wiggy with me and uh, we don't know what kind of design we're going with. We're kind of just going to walk in there and see what we can find if anything jumps out at us. So let's go. Well, all we could find that makes sense is an egg crate. This is Augie's idea, so if this fails, it's on you, man. But our, our idea was to do this for the cheapest possible way, and I gave us a $25 limit. I figured that's probably a good amount, but apparently, uh, how much was this? $10. $10? Yeah. I feel like that's expensive for a little milk crate, I mean, wouldn't it? I don't think you can really break them. Like, you definitely like, can't break it, no. These things are basically forever. indestructible, yeah. Technically, I have a milk crate at home. We, we want to go really cheap. Then we don't need anything. Yeah. Because I have met because we were thinking to do like a mesh over it to cover it, and I have the mesh at home and I have zip ties to do that. Literally do it do with stuff that I have it? at home. Yeah, it's at home. You sure? Uh-huh. We're geniuses. We'll see you back at the house. What you got there, Augie? I don't really know. <laughs> well, uh, we uh we've been wanting a golf net to practice hitting in the backyard just for fun. And uh, I found this one on a uh, Facebook marketplace for 30 bucks, but technically it was a return because it was like one of those like bin what, what would they be called? A bin collector? Oh, it's like the uh, it's like a, Amazon return. It's like a, yeah, it's same, same idea. So we had this little hitting and chipping green or whatever you want to call it. And uh, we needed the net for it. So we're going to see if it fits in the garage one. And then, uh, so while Augie's building that, I'm going to go over here and build our little fish trap here, which this is our little mesh. As you guys can see, it's just PVC. It's uh, whatever dimension you want to call that. Uh, what's this? Look at that. Oh, no, red. I wonder if we can kind of ignore it though. I'm like just... I mean, I got some duct tape. We can duct tape that yeah, sucker back together. That? Real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. While Augie's building that, this is the PVC. I'm going to lay over this. I'm probably gonna bend it over so we can actually fasten it really well. Uh, this was the milk crate that I already had at home and actually used to hold the filter floss in the 200 gallon that we used to have set up over at Augie's house. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this all together. I'll show you guys the finished product. Well, 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 what do we have here? Nice golf net. This is a nice golf net. Well, we got this thing all set up. I got the fish trap set up. It's over there on the truck bed. Oh, you give us a demonstration of how this baby's looking. This, this is very terrifying to me because yes, one, yes, I'm yes. taller and Augie's barely missing the roof and everything. I think we're gonna have to put this thing in the backyard, but this was our tester for now. Oh, it point that's exactly. That's because it's open. It's, I know, you open the door and it screws you. Yeah. I hate it. I do not like it inside. This might be a backyard activity. Yeah, this thing sucks to move. I think it, this, the net itself came with uh, this little turf piece and a hole for you to put your tee. But, and it came with that taller tee, that, the tan one. So I don't know. Maybe if we want to take it outside, you move this and the net. And then you go play outside. And this always in stays in the garage. Yeah, it's better with the garage shut. It's loud. It's very loud. That's the only thing. Like you can't come out here and do this in the middle of the night when I can't sleep or something like that. Like, it's just pow, pow, pow. It's very loud. You know what would take the sound away if you took off that middle tarp? Yeah, but I think that tarp is what's stopping it. That's what helps a lot of the through, ripping yeah. through. Yeah, look maybe. At the tarp. You can already see some light through it, kind of. Maybe it's been hit. Like I think it. Oh uh, yeah. Over. Yeah, you can so, see it's kind of like stretching through. Like right here, there's a little. Oh, you guys probably can't see it on camera, but uh, you're very tense. You don't feel comfortable swinging and stuff because I'm afraid I'm gonna take out. The thousands of dollars in rods that are above me to be actually to be oh yeah just want to point something out this reel right here took a nice tumble from all the way up top this whole rod fell out came down and this is the result of that it literally barely broke oh hang on you guys you got it focus focus there you go it barely broke the very tippy tip of this rod but what, so what were you doing i was in here swinging these stupid indoor balls actually technically i didn't physically hit the rod, the ball bounced off the wall somewhere and then hit it and knocked it off the little, like the little horseshoe piece and down it fell onto the ground. I was so close. I was like, oh, come here, come here. And it just fell and smacked. But what was crazy, not a scratch on the reel. The only thing that happened was that little, little snappy piece right at the end of the rod. But all right, well, that's all done. That was fun. Let me show you guys our fish trap here. So this is what I've designed. I cut here, folded all the wire around. It is on there very good. The idea is the fish uh, will get in here, ideally, either like a small bass or bluegill or like cichlid or any type of pan fish would probably be able to get in here. Minnows and stuff, I assume, are just going to fall out, right? Yeah. That'd be my guess. What might help is if we kind so, of orient it like almost that way. Put it this way so things can come in from the top. Oh, because the they're, like uh, they're taller. Uh, we got this fish trap right here. And then the one that we are going to compare it with is this one right here that I have to unbury now. We're going to get some bread. I think it's going to be our bait. Uh, the sun's 
getting a little low-ish. Eh, no, not really, that's a lie. We got, we got a few hours until it goes down, so I think we're gonna put it out there and then uh, we'll let the sun go down a little bit, give it a few hours, and then go back, grab them, and uh, hopefully one of these things catches a fish. I'm hoping this is the one that wins because this thing was, how much was the egg crate originally? 10, 11 $10 bucks? Is what Probably we're five bucks at Walmart, to be quite honest with you guys. Usually if you buy bins or any type of storage container at Lowe's or Home Depot, they're usually a little more expensive. The wire, the entire spool of it is 15 meters. It's actually holding the golf net down. I only paid 20 bucks for that. So that, that's a pretty good deal. But that was also at that bin place. So that was just luck of the draw. Normally I think a spool that size is, I think I looked it up, it was almost like a hundred bucks. So I got a pretty good deal on that. But uh, yeah, so this thing for sure is definitely the cheaper than the fish trap over there. Is that thing over there is normally like at minimum 40 bucks. You can't really find fish traps any cheaper than that. So if you guys are looking to do any type of trapping, ooh, should I cut a hole out in the top here? Probably. Think that would help? Think or you think that's like too many escape holes? It'd be kind of hard for them to refine how to get out of this as it is. Yeah. But will they find to get in? I don't know. I feel like this will be harder to see in the water than this. Yeah. So maybe they'll think to get out is this way and then they won't go out the side. I don't know. I say we run it how it is. I think it looks pretty good. Okay. So far, homemade traps doing better than store-bought, but we'll put it to the test. We'll see you guys at the pond. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's been a few days. We, uh, I don't, I don't really know what happened. We were gonna go throw it's the, cold. it was, yeah, we just had some weird cold front, so we didn't think we were gonna catch anything. And I don't wanna leave a fish trap there just to catch nothing. I wanna actually catch something for you guys. If you guys remember in the, one of the last videos I posted, I don't know when this video is going up, but we came to actually this exact spot and it was uh, in the cast netting video. There was a bunch of bluegill that are over there on that side. So we figured, well, heck, we know where the fish are. Might as well put the fish trap where the fish are. You know what I'm saying? So I got two weenies and we're gonna put them actually on this side because I don't want to just throw a fish trap in right on top of where all those fish live. So we got the store-bought one over there and then the homemade one, as you guys remember. So we're gonna go ahead and I gotta break up these weenies here. We were gonna use bread, but since it's been so long, the bread went bad. So we got nice winky instead. Uh, do we think it should land like this? Or should I throw it like that? Because they have to swim through here. That might be better like that. Is this that. probably better because it's up? Yeah. I want to give this one the better chance. I see like right, like up. Like out on the, the right side of the pipe? Yeah. I don't know where we're going to tie that off to, huh? We don't really have to tie it off. I kind of know where it's at. We're going to fish for a little bit and walk around. And then uh, it's still, it's only like, I can give you guys a time check. It's just afternoon. Beautiful. It's 12, 15. So we got plenty of time. We're gonna leave this probably the rest of the day and then come back at sundown to pick it up. So I'm not too worried about anybody taking it. This, this rope's long enough. I think it'll be fine. Nice. We'll wanna... Oops. I didn't think about it sinking, but it sank pretty well. Cause I think this one has weights on it. Yeah. It flipped itself over to the way we didn't want it to flip. Yeah, we made it. All because of the way it's weighted. Maybe we should have put weights on Maybe it. Maybe in like the Mark II we'll add weights on. <laughs> yeah, and in another variation you might have to add some weights. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna swim away, but oh, unless we get son a of big fish. That's smooth. Yeah, unless we get a big old mommy. Alright, where's that other wiener at? Oh, we're throwing this baby way out. You think? I feel like all the little fish are gonna be kinda close to the banks. This wiener. I'm gonna rip it in smaller pieces because this one can't fall out as easy. Now maybe get the scent out there a little bit more. Trying to make sure it's sealed. I don't want wiener juice in my pocket. <laughs> Should I give it the old whirly twirly spin? I think you don't want to go that far. I think you just want to go like good. Okay. Jeez. How's that? That was a hell of a splash, huh? Alrighty, boys. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna let these things sit. We're gonna fish a little bit and then we're gonna head out of here and then we'll come back and hopefully catch them. I guess if we don't catch anything fishing, then you guys won't see us fishing really. So you, you might see me later, you might not, I don't know. Alrighty boys, we're back. It's been a few hours. It's now 4.50. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 4.50, so I mean, we could have let it go down a little bit longer, but we want to go fish somewhere else, so we're pulling them a little early. Oh my God, look at all the bluegill and all the minnows around it. Really? I don't know if you can see that. I can see it without my glasses. They should be able to see it with the polarizer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a bunch of bluegill and a bunch of minnows all around this thing. Oh, I think one just tripped out. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh my God. <laughs> what? No way. What are, what are these? Oh, they, they're they like little baby like tilapia. Yeah, that's we got exactly what they are. All three are tilapia. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, I didn't bring snips. They ate two of the wieners too. All right. Oh, you might so, just dump them. <laughs> I got to give them the old shake out. There's one. There's two. You There's three. Right. This one's a tilapia. You can tell by his the head. But he's a spot. So, I don't, maybe baby oh, tilapias yeah, have right. the, no, you're right. you can just tell by the face the they're head, tilapia. Yeah. They could be a cross of a cichlid as well, like a Mayan. Oh, sorry buddy, come back here. 
Oh, watch your foot. There's oh, another no. guy. <laughs> no, stop, stop. No. I am surprised that actually. Wow. Worked. That blew me way out of the water. So that's three for the homemade. Okay, right? that's three for the bad trap. I saw two definitely like two. Out I saw here. some jump out for yeah. sure. All right. Next trap. Let's see what we can get. So this I, is the legit store bought trap. That was our random homemade one. That was free. And we, pretty much. I think we would we did catch five, but because of our whole situation, I think two fell out. That, that's what I saw. So we'll, we'll just say three. I, I'm gonna count it with what I got in the trap. Okay. Three in the trap. That's all it is. Oh, this thing's just dragging in mud. Oh, I oh, see, I see fish. something. Uh oh. Oh, we the homemade trap one. Wow. Only one bluegill. This one's a bluegill. Yeah, it's a bluegill. Yeah. So this is our regular. Typical bluegill, at least for Florida. This is what they look like when they're babies. What is that noise? Is that the ice cream truck? Yeah, definitely some ice cream going on. I might even get some of that. I got cash. Do you have ones? Yeah. Okay, we gotta throw them back in. We gotta go. We gotta go find this. Is that ice cream truck or that's... is that Buddy doing construction and listening to music? No way that's like music music like he's playing. <laughs> Buddy's got the elevator tunes. I don't know. Oh, why am I still holding this fish? We gotta throw them back. Hoi! Round of applause for the team. Yeah. Team we homemade. We did good. We did way better in this stupid home bit made bot thing. Yeah. That's probably about the end of this video. Uh, if you guys want to come back again some, some other time, you can. We might do another homemade fish trap video. I can't see. My corneas are getting blown, so I'll see you guys later.